Hey guys, and welcome to another DIY. Today, we are gonna show you how to make a custom sliding barn door. So this is the sliding barn door after it's all finished. So if you want to know how to make your own custom sliding barn door, keep watching. Also, if you make it to the end of the video and you ended up liking it or learned something cool, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Okay guys, so we're starting off by sanding all the shiplap down. We opted for unfinished shiplap because it was nice and smooth on both sides, but it was rough, so we had just went ahead and sanded both sides down so that we would have a nice smooth edge, and we found we could save a little bit of money um, getting this kind of shiplap instead of the primed shiplap. So next we're going to go ahead and mark our shiplap on one side just about a half inch to make a nice clean cut because we don't trust factory edge to be nice and clean. So we're going to take half an inch off of one side of the shiplap. Now we're moving on to cutting off that edge that we just marked and then we're going to flip it over to go ahead and cut the other side to the correct length of the door that we want. Next we're going to add some wood glue to the seam of the shiplap and then piece it together so that it'll give it a little extra staying power. Now you can get some clamps to clamp these pieces together for a little extra tightness. So here we're just taking a measurement because we want the door to be centered. So we're going to end up taking a little bit off of each end of the doorway to get the proper width. Next, we're gonna move on to cutting the frame of the door. Um, but we start with the top half and the bottom half. So we're just taking our measurements on the width of the door. Um, this door happens to be um, 40 inches wide so that is what we're choosing to go ahead and measure and then we're making our marks and cutting it to width. I'm basically going to center it between these two lines and then I'm going to trim off both sides when I'm done. Uh, so I've centered it now, I've measured it so it's equally on both sides. We are reinforcing the top and bottom frame with wood glue before we go ahead and pop in those screws. Mm -hmm. 
Next we do the same with the frame on the left and the right of the door, adding wood glue to the back after we make our cuts and then applying it to either side of the door, getting in, in there nice and tight with the assistance of a hammer. So here we are measuring the angle that we need to cut the slant of the barn door at. We took it over, made those cuts, added some wood glue to the back, and then we're applying that, and then we're gonna reinforce it again with some screws. So next we're taking our planer and cutting off that extra edge that the shiplap left on the width of our door. This is the barn door hardware that we chose. I'll have it linked below. We got it on Amazon for about 20 bucks and we like the minimalistic look that it has. We continue making the marks that we need to drill holes for the handle. Up next is my favorite part, which was the painting. We used a spray gun uh, to paint this barn door and we put on several coats to uh, really cover the wood grains of this door. And I did take a hand brush and just go over some of the edges that the gun wasn't covering at this point just to make sure it was nice and covered. I realized it was better to spray this door vertically rather than horizontally so with the back of the door that's what I chose to do. Next, we're installing the door hardware, and we like this hardware because on the back side, there's a groove that you can use to open the door, and this door is going in a bathroom, so it'll be helpful to have a handle on both sides. And there you have it, guys. Our shiplap sliding barn door is all finished. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.